Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics. And we're here to look into this material, it's called ADR mat. And it's an electric radiation shield for electric fields. And they've sent me a couple of brochures about the product. And we're going to use a tri-field with its electric field setting to see what the fields are coming out of the circuit. And people who have read my books, particularly Toxic Electricity and Electrical Forensics, will recognize this circuit as we have three light bulbs on the left, which are switched through a conventional switch. And we have three lamp dimmers that feed three separate light bulbs on the right. And these are all identical light bulbs. They're all 100 watt light bulbs. And we're going to see what the fields are with and without the shield. So I'm going to start off by putting this on the electric field setting. And I'm going to mount the video onto the tripod so that we can get hold of the blanket and put it on the circuit. So this appears to be a fabric and I'm going to turn on the three light bulbs which are on the switch. So this is called a linear load or a resistive load. And you can see that we actually have a field coming off. And that field peaks right around there. So you can see that some of the field is coming from me. And when I'm holding the meter, it actually goes up to 10. And when I move away from the meter, it drops down to four on the electric field setting. So let's pull out the material. So you can see that we have 10. When I go near it, we get 20. And if I move the meter around, you can see that we actually get 50 when I'm holding the meter. And that drops down to about 35 when I'm not holding the meter. So it definitely seems to work on resistive circuits. And I found that finding interesting. So let's repeat the experiment on the harmonic generator circuit. And I'm gonna to have to tune the circuit because the lamp dimmer setting has peaks to it, as you can see with that meter going up and down. So I'm looking for the peak electric field. And the interesting thing about lamp dimmers is the peak electric field appears to come and the light is actually quite bright. So that's dim, it's actually off right now. So it's just come back on. And it's quite a uniform field all the way up to full brightness. So that's full brightness, so it drops off at full brightness. And we back it off a little bit and we get our peak. So let's do the same on the next light bulb. So we can see it spike up and it drops back down when it gets to full brightness. So let's back it off from full brightness. So the peak's about there. And I'm going to do the third light bulb. So we just got up to full brightness. So I'm going to back it off to get the peak. Okay, peak is right there. So we've got three very bright light bulbs. And if I move my hand away, you can see that the field actually gets a little bit larger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the fabric over the circuit. And we can see what readings we get. So this is our harmonic circuit. And the meter is actually off the scale. I'm move my hand away. Yeah, it's still off the scale. So that was an interesting thing that I found with this fabric that is, it seems to work on linear loads, but on these harmonic lamp dimmer loads, 
it actually appears to have the opposite effect. It actually appears to actually increase the reading. So I'm going to pull this out. You see the reading drop? So that's with my hand on the meter. That's with my hand away from the meter. Let's put the fabric back under. So it actually seems to read higher with the fabric. So it's off the scale when my hand is near it. So I'm not really seeing much of a difference on harmonic loads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off these lamp dimmers down to the lowest setting that they give and we can see how that looks. Okay, so they're all on full brightness now. Let's move the meter around, see whether we can find the peak. Okay, the peak is right there. So you can see when I'm not holding the meter, it drops right back. So for some reason, I'm acting as a really good antenna system to this electric field. And when I move away from it, we can see that the meter reading drops right down. So we're getting six when I'm not holding it. We're getting about a hundred when I am holding the meter. And that field changes depending on we're on the cable, we are. So I'm going to move my hand away. So let's see how it performs on the brightest setting on these lamp dimmers. So everything's covered up right up to the bulbs. We're actually overlapping quite a bit on the table. And this is a wooden table, there's no circuits underneath this table. So let's see what we find. So our lowest reading appears to be right around there. So I'm going to move my hand away. So we can actually see that we're getting the opposite effect on this harmonic load of lamp dimmers. And that when I move my hand away, the peak actually goes up. When I bring my hand near, it drops down. So we've got over a hundred there. And it drops down to 25 when my hand is away from it. So it's a mixed set of results on this fabric. So on linear loads, it appears to reduce the field reading and on harmonic electronic loads it appears to increase the electric field so so it's a very interesting effect going on between the interaction between me and the meter and the meter and the fabric on this particular load. So my conclusion with this fabric is that it probably does have certain applications regarding resistive loads. And I'm not too sure about the applications for harmonic loads because I'm actually seeing some very strange stuff, as you can see with the meter regarding these harmonic loads. And that was my conclusion with this fabric. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.